Hello and welcome back to Sunless Sea. Finn here, bringing you a very fun, exciting adventure in which we sail into the open sea. Or the Z, I should say. Yes, yes. We do not want to touch the snow. I don't know what that is coming out of Boral Reach or Boreal Reach. No, thank you. The Chapel of Lights. That sounds lovely. It's probably horrifying. Play as nuns that like tie men up and just milk them for their, all they're worth. Why am I? Ugh, don't don't think about that. Anyway, the Chapel of Lights, furtive, faithful, gather in the shadows between the many many candles. Do you hear music? Eat at the chapel's bounty or gather intelligence. Well, you know what? Let's gather intelligence. Yeah. A smiling priest in a red cassock tends to the chapel. The congregation are shy of light. They come and go in little ships and it's strangely difficult to count them. Perhaps some of them are imaginary. Still, you note the name of a ship or two. Oh yes, yeah, so we'll give some intelligence to uh, the Admiralty and uh, all that. What do we have? Okay, nothing here. Uh, we can. I guess we'll eat at the chapel's bounty. Here he says eat, but take nothing away with you. Rich in red, they have shark steaks plucked from the sea. Thin slices of cavern tuna, translucent and delicate as paper. Little crimson cakes, flavored, flavored with cinnamon and coated with poppy seeds. Tomatoes, impossibly ripe and sweet so far from the surface. Gorge yourself. Leave with the juices dripping from your chin. Mmm. That sounds wonderful. Lost some hunger? Okay, that helps us with the supplies. Oh, they're very, very nice here. Uh, yeah. Let's just hope we didn't eat like a bunch of people or something. They're far too friendly. Alright, away we go. Launch. I had the game paused. I'm an idiot. Alright, speed two, engage. Captain Adama demands it. And what will we find? The air crackles with frosty... No, wait. The avid horizon. The avid horizon. What is so avid about this? Are we avid about the avid horizon? I don't know. We'll slow down to speed one here. Mm, very sparkly. Yeah, we'll go back to speed two. What is this? What are these? Are these symbols of some sort? Is this a place of worship? I don't know. Avid Horizon. This is the end? Two vast winged shapes guard a gate of something like resin. Smooth but uneven. Um, we're going to gather intelligence here. A merciless wind blows from everywhere to everywhere. It passes without effort through your bridge coat, your flesh, your lungs. The dock lies empty. Yeah, let's just gather intelligence here. Nothing moves. The stillness is itself of interest to the Admiralty. It is not impossible. Someone foolish might attempt to open the gate. It is not inconceivable that it might open from the other side. And what then? Yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. Don't know what's here. Don't want to know. Get the hell out. Too sparkly. I don't do sparkly, okay? It is clearly in my resume, doesn't do sparkly. Oh boy. What does the map say? The map really doesn't say a lot. Um. Okay, how far are we from London? Pretty far. We're just gonna travel south. Actually, let's check out this port over here to the east and then we'll travel south. We are running a little bit low on supplies and fuel. I'm a little worried. Oh, God. Okay, music. You just you threw me for a loop there. Palmerston's Reach. That We found it. We don't have the, the bottled souls, but we know where it is. Wonderful. Looks a little enclosed here. Is this a little bay? Oh man, this is this is some very intense music. Alright, I don't see anything going on here. Time to back away. Okay, so we, we bumped the ship there. Lost one hole. It's fine. Just a little dent. Apparently that is the edge of the map. Well, we know where it is. Let's just hurry up. Let's hurry home. Oh, man. Give some information to the Admiralty. Fed the crew. Okay. 
Low on supplies, man. Low on supplies. Ooh. Mordor is over here. Stop by Mordor. I heard the gift shop's lovely. Really, I don't know what that is. Could be some type of, like, uh, geothermal thing. I don't know. Yeah, pirate. A couple pirates, but I don't really feel like fighting them. I'll outrun them. I turn off the light, but honestly, I, terror is just a problem right now. Man, we have a we have far to travel and we may not have enough fuel. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry on. Speed two. Sail on until morning. Oh lord. Bidmead Reeves. I don't know about this. The principles of coral. The corpse rainbow glow from beneath the waves echoes the false stars above. That bothers me. Oh man, you know it's this game. It's it very much puts you in this this dark and, and mysterious mindset. <sighs> okay, where are we? What are we doing? Now uh, we're still far away. Here, the wilder airs mingle with the airs of the near reaches. Demos Gate. Named for a navigator lost above, how did his bones come below? So mysterious. Demo Island. You know, we might stop here for fuel. Do they have a stop? Iron and Misery. We found it, baby. I knew it was around here somewhere. Okay, let's talk to them. Get, get a report for the Admiralty's office. And get some fuel, hopefully. Everything's coming up Millhouse. I was getting worried there, but we'll be just fine. Alright, come on now. Speed 2 then. I thought speed 1 would be sufficient, but it was a little too slow for me. Okay, here we go. And we are docked. Iron and Misery Company. You know, I'm just going to say, guys, I think you should look into a rebrand. Iron and Misery. Who wants to work for Iron and Misery? I mean, seriously. Just does not sound like a very pleasant work atmosphere. A fun a funger operation, a funger operation, like fungi. Selling giant uh bologus shrooms. Bologus for building materials, harvesting Kiralee for its medicinal properties. Hey, listen, I'm not going to judge anyone for what they uh they roll up and smoke, alright? Or they probably don't they probably just eat the mushrooms, they don't have to smoke them, Max. Okay. Yes. Up pulls the affable factor. Oh, hello, Captain. Thank God for visitors. We'd go quite mad out here otherwise. Ah, ha, ha, quite mad. How can we be of, of assistance? Well, the Admiralty asks you to bring back strategic information. This is your contact. A strange smile. Here, little to report, but we have had connate privateers nosing around. And tell them that the company grows suspicious. Mr. Iron knows the Admiralty is too interested in his business. Pray, my friend, that you never have to serve two masters as I do. Hmm. So the Khanate is a, a rebel faction of some sort, or a, a militarized faction, I believe, like pirates. We have one strategic information. Wonderful. We complete that little quest. Okay. Tea with the factor? Yeah, the poor guy needs his company. Yeah, sure. We'll have tea with you. An interlude. You sit on the veranda of the factor's house looking out over the fungal, fungal jungle. The fungal jungle. That sounds so, so 90s. Hey guys, let's go to the fungal jungle and, and, <laughs> and, and play with pogs. <laughs> I had to desperately reach for something from the 90s and I chose pogs. Anyway. An expanse of green and sour gold. The air is thick with hovering spores. The scones are stale. Even the tea tastes a little moldy. Ugh! But Factor is good company. He shares odd stories about the Gant Pole, where the monsters swarm. About the seductions of the principles of coral and the infestation at Featherhaven. He also has a load of bologus frond carted aboard your ship. He waves away your thanks. I have eaten so much of this stuff, I fear I might be transformed entirely into fungus. Yeah, I know that feeling. He leans confidently forward towards you. It happens, you know. Ugh. One does have to eat a rather lot of it first. Ugh. 
Well, we got more supplies than we lost too fair. I'll take it. Too, too fair? Too terror. Do we gather supplies? Fungus is good to eat. Uh, some of it is poisonous, hallucinogenic, or mischievous. Let's go for it. I've gained two tear. But, yeah, some is, yeah. I was fortunate. Okay, cool. Gained a supply. I will gladly take it. Perhaps not. We're going to check out the shops and buy some supplies. Oh my god, that's expensive. So is the fuel. We'll buy one fuel. Running out of fuel sounds like a terrible time, let me tell you. Okay. Away we go. Stop pausing the game, you idiot. All right. We're going to head back to London, and we are going to tell the Admiralty that we met with Iron and Misery, and uh, he was actually quite a pleasant fellow. He wasn't miserable at all, though there was mold in the tea. Mold in the tea. Moldy tea. Not, not pleasant. Ugh. The way it describes things in this game. Moldy tea. Uh, that time I spent the night at the helmsman, whatever, the blind helmsman. Where I, uh, there was rats scurrying across the floor. You can just picture it in your mind of just a guy just try, just trying to find a comfortable place to sleep and the rats trying to take whatever crumbs he might drop. The imagery is, uh, quite, quite good. Alright, let's just slow the speed. We're gonna fight this pirate. He's, he's a very fast guy. Let's do it. Engage. Opening up with a wild salvo. Oh no. Okay, minor damage because of low illumination, I would assume. Okay, you threw me for a loop. You didn't do seek, seek, seek nonsense there. I'll give you credit. Okay, it's going to take three salvos. Oh, you're down. Excellent. Excellent. Do we loot her? Pretty good odds, apparently. Let's do it. We're going to send her home with a prize crew. When you next return to London, uh, return your lodgings to claim your prize money. Wonderful. Wonderful. We lost a little crew. Well, we temporarily lost a little crew. Luckily, they didn't go crazy and start eating each other like the last one. I'm just going to name that last crew Bob and Susie. Good job, Bob and Susie. You accomplished nothing other than eating yourselves. Hmm, that could be suggestive of something, but it really isn't. Bonnie Reefs. Bonnie Reefs kind of sounds like a, like a cafeteria lady. You know? Here's your pizza. My name's Bonnie Reefs. <laughs> I got some of my nail clippings in the pizza. Hope you don't mind, hon. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, the sail home. I'm sure we'll have people waiting on the dock, teary-eyed and wanting to see the valiant return of Captain Nadama. Yeah, without fuel, we're just an oddly shaped house, located somewhere you really don't want to live. Don't worry, we're not going to run out of fuel. We're going to make it home, and we're going to be heroes. And I guess that will conclude this episode. We'll probably uh, sell some business and then end the episode, actually. Get away. Go away, crab. A little baby crab. I'm not concerned about you. A breath of relief. Yes, walk taller, smile more readily. But what dreams may cling. Yes, you never get away from the Untersea. The Untersea, it always has a hold on you. Alright, we'll collect messages. What do we got? Someone wants to sign on. Something has changed in the Neath. Interesting. Let's go to the... I'll check out the gift uh, very soon. We're going to go to the lodgings, read the morning papers. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Nothing much. Nothing new. We will, we will rest in a room later. Long away to prize money. A letter, Captain. We have assessed the dot, dot, dot in accordance with the law of the Z, dot, dot, dot. Please to enclose a money order for... Yes. Spend it on something nice from the total value of the prizes you've sent home. The crown and the bazaar have deducted t prize tax, prize tariffs, running costs, repairs, and the misery surcharge. Oh boy. Nevertheless, a good sum remains. Spend it in good health. Excellent. We gained two crew. Wonderful. And 50 echoes. Wonderful. Ah, we're, we're living large. Living large in London. Okay, and I think that ends it here. You know, we're in an excellent we're we're in excellent shape. 
We've taken two damage. whoop de doo uh, We have this shady character awaiting us. Tune in next time, where we have a conversation with this guy. He's shifty as hell, and I think you know what's going to happen there. If you like uh, the 90s, give me a like. If you play with Pogs, definitely give me a like and subscribe. Oh, uh, you remember those days. Anyway, I hope you'll see me next time.